It's time now for the latest in local sports and sports. The Farsley Girls Softball team one step closer to going back to Columbus to compete for a state championship in quality softball as the Lady Jackets advanced to their round of the Sweet 16 with a doubleheader sweep yesterday of Southwest DeKalb at home. The girls win game one 14-0 in four innings and win game two 20-0 in just three innings and now we'll host the Sweet 16 on Tuesday of next week. In game one, the Lady Jackets jumped out to 9-0 lead in the first inning and won the first game in just four innings and winning pitcher in game won Ada Sluter. She allowed just two hits, struck out five. Game two, the Jackets led 13-0 after the first inning and won 20-0 in just three innings of work. Senior Reagan Harvey had three doubles in the game, going three for three. Ellie Harrison, three for three with a triple and a double. Candace Thornton, three for three with a couple of doubles. Wayne Kenny had 20 runs on 16 hits in the second game. Morgan Boatwright gets the win in game two. Lady Jackets advance to the Sweet 16 on Tuesday of next week and their opponent will be East Forsyth High School. East Forsyth Swept Eagles landing Christian 9 8 and 14 1. The winner of this series next week punches their ticket to Columbus as the top eight teams advance to Columbus to battle it out for the state championship. Other Matchups in Quad A softball. Perry, a team from our region, also advanced to Sweet 16. They sweep North Springs 10-2 and 17-2. St. Pius eliminated Warner Robins 15-0 and 19-3. Marist eliminated Ware County, sweeping the Gators 7-0 and 7-1. Other teams who advanced to the Sweet 16 in Quad A include Kell, Pace Academy, Union Grove, Cartersville, Northside Columbus, Harris County, Cambridge, Ola, Central Carroll, and Alatoona. Once again, as soon as we get the time of the Tuesday doubleheader, we'll pass that along. Should have that information on Friday's sportscast. But again, Wayne County will host Sweet 16 action next Tuesday at the Barstow Cross softball field. Once again, the opponent will be East Forsyth High School. Wayne County cross-country teams head to Toombs County today. They've got a Three River Classic run. That race gets underway at 4 p.m. at Toombs County. High school football team hosts Benedictine Friday night at J.C. Stadium. It's homecoming for the Jackets. Jackets back to a normal schedule this week after all the changes due to the bad weather. But Wayne County still looking for his first win of the season. Our schedule back to normal Friday as well. We've got the Wayne County Coaches Show Friday afternoon at 6.30 p.m. Here's a portion of the show when Coach Morgan talks about how tough this season has been especially for the senior class in the direction of their third head coach in the past four seasons. Yeah, it's tough, and, you know, I just got to keep reminding them that this is, a, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And, you know, we just got here, you know, we were hired late in the process, and by the time my full staff was here, it was almost July. Um, so, you know, it's going to take time, and, you know, it, it stinks for the seniors, you know, that, you know, they're going to end their last year, like, with a record like this and with some of the, um, the games we've had. But, you know, we have a really good young group um, that we're excited about, and they're playing a lot of snaps, and they're getting experience. And not only are they getting experience, they're getting experience against really good teams. Um, so if in two years when our region changes or our schedule changes, um, you know, I think that they, they'll have a lot more success um, on the football field. Got seven games in the book. Again, three games left. Uh, you know, watching this team throughout the year, what do you think they do well? Yeah. What do you think they need to improve on? Uh, we definitely need to improve on our tackling. Um, you know, I, I would say they, they practice hard. Um, they're competitive. Um, you know, they do what we say, and you know, they take coaching. Um, you know, defense. We've been I've been mixing up schemes, trying to put us in the best position, and they they embrace that. You know, we're not somebody that just lines up in the same defense every week and plays what we play. Um, we try to scheme up our opponent. Um, offense. You know, we've we've thrown the kitchen sink at them. You know, we've had. You know, I was running the offense at the beginning of the year, then we switched, and then Coach Ackley took over. So they've had to learn new schemes. Coaches have had to learn new schemes. But I think we're starting to figure out as coaches, you know, what we have talent-wise. Um, and who to build this program around for the future. So um, we're going to give it our all and, and fight our butts off these last three weeks and, and really start getting in the weight room this offseason and, and trying to uh, change our seat. And once again, those comments of Coach John Moore. You can hear all his comments on the Coach's Show tomorrow afternoon at 6.30. We'll have more from the show on Friday Sportscast. Our pregame show tomorrow gets underway at 7 o'clock from the stadium. Then the kickoff tomorrow night at 7.30. Reminder, tickets are available this week at Sheffield Sports Shop. Tickets also available at the, at the gate the night of the game. And a reminder, we'll have live the announcement of the homecoming queen in her court crowd Friday night at J.C. Stadium against Wayne County against B.C. Friday night 7.30 at J.C. Stadium. Some other high school games in the area in our region Warner Robins will be at New Hampstead and Ware County will travel to play Perry High School. Other games happening at Tattnall, Pierce at Crisp, Valdosta at Richmond Hill, Houston at Coffee, Camden at Lyons, 
Colquitt's at Tift, Evans at Statesboro, Lakeside Evans at Brunswick, some of the other games in high school this weekend. Week 8 of the college football season gets underway this Saturday, and Georgia Tech will be at home at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, taking on Notre Dame. It's a 3.30 kickoff, and that game kicks off at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. We'll have that game for you on our sister station, AM 1370. Once again, the kickoff at 3.30 Saturday. Georgia Southern host James Madison this Saturday in Statesboro. It's a 4 p.m. kickoff. We've got that game on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5 FM. Biggest game of the weekend takes place out in Texas as the number one Texas Longhorns host the number five Georgia Bulldogs. That's a 7.30 Saturday night game on national TV. And Texas listed as a field goal favorite. Texas unbeaten while the Dogs have that one loss to Alabama. Dogs and Longhorns Saturday night in Texas. Other games to check out. Alabama takes on Tennessee. Loser this game really takes a hit for their playoff hopes. Oklahoma plays South Carolina. Auburn takes on Missouri. Michigan against Illinois. USC plays Maryland. Texas A&M against Mississippi State. Florida against Kentucky. Iowa, Michigan State, and Utah takes on TCU. Major League Baseball players continue. Last night, the Dodgers whipped up on the Mets 8-0. They take a 2-1 lead in that best-of-seven series. Tonight, the Yankees are at Cleveland for Game 3 with the Yankees leading that ALCS two games to none. Also a best of seven series for Dodgers and Mets take the day off and play game four Friday in New York. That's going to do it for latest in local sports.